Hi everyone, let's talk about the extended law of sines. What the ordinary law of sines says is that if we have a triangle, let's call it ABC with side lengths A, B, and C, then we have A over sine of angle A, so that's angle BAC, is equal to B of sine of B is equal to C of sine of C. But this raises a couple of questions. First of all, how do we know this? How do we derive this? And secondly, what is the common value? What is the common value? So we've got three values here, one, two, and three and they have some sort of common value in terms of the side lengths A, B, and C. So we want to figure out what that is. And that's where the extended law of sine comes in because it answers both the first question and the second question. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw the circumcircle of the triangle. And there are three cases, so I'm going to draw them three times. because there's a certain kind of casework that we're going to have to do. Um, in the first case, actually in all of the cases, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the point B and drawing the diameter of the circumcircle that goes through B. So based off of that, there are three kinds of cases that we're going to have to deal with. In the first case, what we have is that it's something that looks like this. Uh, let me draw it first. So we've got a triangle here and the center of the circle is here. So when we draw the diameter through B, so A is up here, B is down here and C is down here. What we have is that the other end point, which we're going to call D, is on D is on arc BAC. So that's the arc up here, BAC, like this. The second case is where BD is a diameter itself. So we have something that looks like this. And we have A, B, C, but C equals to D because the center of the circle is on BC. And the final case that we're going to deal with is when we have something that looks like this where the center of the circle is outside of the triangle and so when we draw the diameter through B so we have A up here B down here C over here and D is here so in that case, D is on the arc BC, which does not contain A. So D is over here. So let me write down the cases here. In the first case, we have this. D is in BAC. In the second case, C equals to D. And in the third case, we have D is an L element of the arc BC that does not contain A. So those are our three cases. And we're going to be using the inscribed angle theorem and Thales theorem to handle each of them. In the first case, what we have is that we're going to draw DC and by Thales theorem this angle over here 
angle B, C, D is equal to 90 degrees or pi in radians. So, and what we get is that by the inscribed angle theorem, angle B, A, C is equal to angle B, D, C. So what we get is that sine of A is equal to sine of D, which is equal to, since we have a 90 degree uh, triangle, this is the opposite, A, and this over here is R and R, so it's A over 2R. So that proves the extended law of sines in that case because it's equivalent to saying that 2r is equal to a over sine a. So 2r is equal to a over sine of a. Now this symmetrically follows to b over sine b and c over sine c and I'll write that down later. But let's handle the second case now. By Thales' theorem, this is a 90 degree angle. So what we get in this case is that sine of angle A is equal to sine of oh sorry, this should have been a pi over 2 uh, because that is a 90 degree angle. So similarly over here we have sine of pi over 2 and that is equal to 1, which is equal to BC over BD, because BC and BD are the same length. And that is equal to A. A is over here, and we have 2R here, 2R. So once again, 2R is equal to A over sine of A. Now for the final case, what we're going to do is we're going to draw this length again. And as before, by Thales' theorem, we have a 90 degree angle over here. So what we find is that sine of A, which is this angle here, is equal to sine of pi minus angle D, which is over here. And by a trig identity, that's equal to sine of D. And that's simply equal to sine of D. Because we have a 90 degree triangle here, it's equal to A over 2R. So once again, we have 2R is equal to A over sine A. So what we get is that in all three cases, in all three cases, 2R is equal to A over sine of A. And since there's nothing special about A, angle A or side A, we find that this is also symmetrically equal to B over sine B, which is equal to C over sine of C. So that's the proof of the extended law of sines. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.